Maybe you've gone dancing in Potter Newton Park and back again. Dancing through Chapel Town on a warm day or a rainy day. But it doesn't matter much because you're dancing in Chapel Town where Lee's Carnival was born. Gertrude Paul was there at the start. Back in 1967, Gertrude Paul of the United Caribbean Association, who came to England in 1956 from St Kitts. Gertrude Paul, who became the city's first black head teacher at Helmhurst Middle School in Chapel Town, Chapel Town where Lee's Carnival was born. Gertrude was there when Chapel Town was hard. If you were black in 1975, you couldn't throw a bonfire party without the police turning up to see what you were up to. The police made their presence felt that night. They did most nights, but on this night, 12 people became scapegoats for a crowd of 300 who were letting off fireworks and sharing the cool night air with their friends. Friends who attended Elmhurst Middle School sat in school desks, writing down what Mrs Gertrude Paul was telling them about the world. There was a fight, a riot, said the news. There was a trial. In 1976, a special issue of the Chapel Town News reported that an all-white jury found the 12 not guilty. And right there on the front cover was defence campaigner and community leader Gertrude Paul. The city in 76 had ways of keeping you down. No hats in the nightclubs, no soul, no reggae sounds. The days were excuses for new ways to trick you, for landlords and police to harass and evict you. No one could get up so there was no one to look up to until Gertrude Paul broke the barriers of school authority and showed their youth the way. Mrs Paul didn't approve when her kids got into trouble or when they fought in the streets with their fists. She would swallow opponents and allies alike with a hug and a kiss, but she was there throughout the struggle and teaching the people was her way to resist. Thank you.